Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Recently there's been quite a lot of discussion around the GTA 6 map as well as some additions to the GTA 6 mapping project. So why don't I just jump right in and tell you what's been going on. Now here you can see that people have been noticing this bumper sticker on the back of Jason's car which seems to be in the shape of Florida. People have taken this image and pretty much run with it. So if you see here we have this image posted by a reddit user. Um, now this if we just open this up, you'll see that this is pretty much every single frame that the image appears in the GTA 6 trailer. Now these aren't really too legible, but the contrast was boosted on these images, and you can see here that, especially here in these lower ones, there does seem to be a general shape that does align with what we see in the GTA 6 mapping project. So what exactly are we looking at? So if we were to go off image number 8 here, let me zoom all the way in. From what we know of the GTA 6 mapping project, Vice City will be over here somewhere, okay? And then Lake Leonida will likely be in the middle here somewhere. Over here we'll have Port Gelhorn. So this entire place here would probably be Port Gelhorn. Down here would be the Everglades, um, all of the swamps and stuff like that. And down here would be the Keys, the Florida Keys, or the Leonida Keys, um, which uh, obviously are too small to appear on something like this. Now this also helps confirm the shape of the GTA 6 mapping project, right? We seem to be going in the right direction uh, so far with that. But there is something else that has come up, and that is this, is the Florida Panhandle has been spotted in-game. As you can see here, specifically in this image down here, um, the sign does appear to be a, a copy and paste from real life into the game. Now it might be a placeholder, but it may in fact confirm the existence of some kind of Florida panhandle for GTA 6, and that is what people have been speculating. People have been speculating that it's not just going to be everything we see down here. We're also going to have a, a map that extends up and to the west. So this entire area has pretty much just been added to the GTA 6 mapping project. So if we go and take a look here, go onto their website. Right up top, I want to make sure to shout out Dubzor, Dupzor, I'm not sure how to pronounce that buddy, I'm sorry. And the rest of the GTA 6 mapping community for everything that they've done and all the love that they poured into, into making this map and just the sheer love of Rockstar and Grand Theft Auto and just the fun of making maps I suppose, it really shines. So thanks to all of you people. You can see here we have a brand new version of the GTA 6 mapping project map um, that has been extended north quite a bit. Uh, now before, um, this entire area of the top was kind of capped off. It was around St. Joseph here where the map kind of capped off where my mouse is going and then came down past Yorktown to around here. So it just kind of capped off and it was uh, right at the top and it led people to believe Okay, maybe there was there's there's more to come. Now there isn't a whole lot to to talk about on this. As you can see, there like I said, that there isn't much that has been added here. But we can definitely have a look. Saint Joseph seems to still be over here. Um, but if we move up, we actually have Sarah. Now Sarah was actually on the leaked Grand Theft Auto 6 World event list. That was part of the the, the huge leak that was that was confirmed. Now the World event list, just quickly, is essentially all of the stuff in the open world that you can just stumble across and it's all scripted stuff so for Sarah that may be astronauts or rocket launches or something like that I don't actually know I looked at the world event list but I don't remember it but in case you haven't cottoned on Sarah is your NASA so that's gonna be a uh, your NASA substitute in the GTA universe so we're gonna have a whole island for Sarah so that's gonna be super interesting to have in the open world and as you can see here we actually have beaches that extend all the way from Vice City all the way up to Sarah and they still have a beach on Sarah there um, moving around we have what seems to be a very deliberate coastline um, with this little island that seems to have branched off from this little bit here um, moving along not too much to see again we have some more smaller islands and small beaches and moving along here we have Copperhead which seems to have moved from its previous position. Now if I remember correctly Copperhead was around this general area last time we checked the mapping project but it's way way over here now um, with small alliance here this looks like it's going to be a really nice tucked away part of the map. Overall the map is looking absolutely huge and one of the things that we've been speculating about Grand Theft Auto 6 is that there's going to be map expansions over time for hopefully the story but most likely for GTA Online. This is something that Rockstar originally wanted to do for Grand Theft Auto 5 with 
the hope of maybe adding Liberty City back into the game at some point. That really never came to pass. But, you know, I can definitely see, seeing as this is just, we have the Florida Panhandle now, we have an opportunity to just keep expanding upwards and outwards um, um, as they see fit. I'm, I'm not sure how they would do it because they have all of these coastlines here that will have been purpose-built, only to overwrite them and kind of blend them in with, with other places, unless they separate them via water, which I can definitely see them doing. If they had another island up here, separated by not that much water at all, just but just a small waterway. That would be a perfect way to add other bits onto the map. So you could have other cities and other towns and stuff like that, more countryside, um, different things like that. That would be amazing. I do just want to have a quick look around the map just to see what may have changed. Now, I'm not sure if Railway Tunnel has been there this whole time. I feel like I would have seen that before. Maybe that was added recently, I'm not sure. You know, they're really getting all of the roads um, uh, filled in real nice. And look at this. We've got some cranes down here. Little waterways. Not too much seems to have changed down here. Gelhorn Bluff. That seems new. I haven't seen that before. This area is all stuff that we can confirm and is pretty much going to be how it is laid out in game. Um, as well as over here with the Port Gelhorn mo Motel. Leonardo Prison looks pretty much the same. Maybe these actually look kind of more detailed than before. I can't quite remember that, but we've got the airport here, again, not sure if it's been updated too much. We've got the, uh, what I assume is the tram system, right here, the metro station, yes. Um, that seems to have been connected to the airport, I don't know if that's new since I last checked. In fact, there's been qu there's quite a few metro um, uh, tubes, actually, that we've seen added. All of this seems to be so detailed and so packed with, um, with buildings. Vice Beach is looking as packed as ever. I'm pretty sure that building was red and unconfirmed last time I was here, so that's good to see that. Yeah, Vice City is still looking pretty damn good. Um, it's really retaining its shape. Leaf Links Golf Club was not here the last time I, I checked. That's very nice to see back. Um, we've got some more up here, actually. I don't believe I, I saw this before. The Waning Sands. And we've got uh, another trailer location here. Evergreen Mall. I don't think this was as detailed the last time I came here. That's pretty damn cool. The rest is pretty much the same, I think. That looks hella detailed, does it not? I mean, we have a trailer position here as well as uh, quite a lot of leak locations in this in this place. So, so I have no doubts as to why that uh, that's so detailed. Moving down, dinner key. Interesting. The tennis center is still down here. We have a lot of buildings that seem to be kind of confirmed. I say confirmed air quotes. Homestead here looks pretty much the same as does the keys from as far as I can tell. Underwater research facility is uh, uh, plastered over there. We've got a few few little bits here. Com Tower, Coast Guard HQ, Guard Booth and Barriers. Interesting. Yes, this is the air station. I remember this from the last video. And of course, we've got Sundown down here. If you plan to take a look around this yourself, it's best that you look at the key just so you know exactly what you can expect for uh, whether this is just speculation or whether this is something that we can confirm with objective data. For example, the spec borders here, you'll see a lot of these. This is orange. So anything you see outlined in orange like this, that's all speculation borders. We haven't seen any of that in game or in trailer footage or in anything like that. We cannot confirm the actual shape of all of this but if we go down to vice city say we can see that we've just got regular black borders that's because we've seen these borders in in trailers or in the leaks we the people that make this have data that they can look at and just go yep we know exactly where that where that should be so all the orange ones are speculation so that's going to be most of all of this right uh, but this is going to get filled in over time i mean look uh, port gelhorn over here that's a real border that we know apparently and the rest is speculation same with over here. Overall, just a real nice addition to the GTA 6 mapping project. And it was such a nice surprise to come in today and see this whole panhandle here, the Leonida panhandle. It's looking real, real good. Well, that's going to be all from this video. I appreciate you all joining me on this little dive into the GTA 6 map once again. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, that would be pretty cool too. Keep it breezy and take it sleazy.